Oi. PBS is the initials that I serve, took from the public broadcasting system. And it also thought fits very well for the speech, so I use them also. And I will go through and say what everyone each stands for. Presidential, Bain, Salient. First is presidential briefing. The objective of this class, excuse me, of the speech, is to tell you what a briefing is about. A briefing starts with general oversight and states the goals of all the different questions that may pertain to it and then to fill the questions afterwards. The best briefing I can believe there is that I can think of has belonged to Marion, I believe his name is Arian Flesher. Was he the presidential briefing director of uh, President Bush, was it? Um, this was, we're talking about decades ago, so forgive my memory. But anyways, we, we were kind of at a loss when he left. The hardest thing, I think, is that he had to stick to the presidential, the administration's set doctrines. He couldn't go very far on his own and say, I think, or I wish, or oh, oh, I don't know. Can I get back to you on that? He did that sometimes, but he never had to leave his base. What the president said, this is our goal, this is our vision, this is what we've got to do. This is where Arian Flesher had to stay put. So he was like a baseball runner, you could say. But to stay safe, he could never leave the base. He always had to have one foot on the base. He could maybe go a little bit far. He had to get back in time, couldn't go too far away. He had to stay close to the base. He had to stay safe. He couldn't get out of the administrations because they were always having their eyes not on him, but the public was looking upon them. began with a brief declarative sentence, but then he was filled in questions. And these questions were always, sometimes go off the base, wanting to drag him away, but he said, no, 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 I can't go back. Something like that. So he had to play it safe. Never could he go very far. Because what it's, it's like is that you can start from the center, just like a baseball, second base, you could say. You can go so far, you can draw several lines outwards, as in fingers, going out to specific topics, then all those topics are interrelated to what is his general topic. So he could never, he wanted to get them and kind of pull them, if he could, to himself in towards the center to agree with him. As you know, that is a very hard thing to do in a press, press conference. But that is a general concept. He was doing that. The second is Bain. The Bain of management is microprocessing is micromanagement. We all like to go around looking busy and we think that's what we need to do. Just run around and the more busy we look, the more we're achieving, the more efficient we must be. The creator in other people's eyes we are. Well, that's not exactly so. If you want to listen to a finely tuned car, Right now, you wouldn't listen to my truck. <laughs> Something is not sounding right. But when you listen to a good car, that just, 
That's what you like to hear. Somebody who's really got all the parts running together at the same time. And that is what we call optim optimization. We're not after the efficiency, which is every part looking one little thing at a time, but we want the whole so they all mm, together. That is the main problem. Is not focus upon the whole, but just going towards that one little aspect at a time, which I called masterization, which is completely make things congruent to what they should be. The last is salient of PBS. Maybe you heard the, what these sort of green, well, I'm not completely familiarized with that movie, but when you've seen mold grow, it starts in one little place, and then it starts growing, spreading out. Well, salient is somewhat the same. It is like the arm making a beachhead. And salient is a protruding protrusion. Something that gets out there and expands, slowly expands. Okay. So the battle lines of an army are the closest thing we have to what it means. I was once looking at a girl, which is hard to do, not to do, at Mardi Gras at Nubs Knob. Nubs Knob is a ski resort here in Harbor Springs, which is just across the bay. And it was the Mardi Gras time, which everybody dresses up in a costume, which is quintessentially someone else, other than someone else. And she was, I believe, the barkeeper or mistress, or just sort of drinks anyway, to 007. And she had two banners on the front. And from the angle, I was looking at her from the angle, and it looked like it said, I'm shaken and I'm disturbed. I looked at that. And, hmm. Those are two gems of fortitude. Well, sometimes being said it can get me slapped, but it wasn't that. <laughs> because everyone has a good humor that day, fortunately. So that passed. But that's kind of what we're doing with Fortitude. We're stepping out. We're having to stand our ground to be someone else. From there, we're going forward. So this is what a briefing was all about. It's about standing our ground, keeping it, and trying to bring everybody else into our own focus. Madam Toastmaster.